Well, it's a beautifully cold Saturday morning and it's time for me to go through all of this crap. So as you can see, we were able to make a little bit of a workspace here. I got a chair there. I'll be able to tinker on this little workbench here. I got my grinder up there. I need some of those little hooks in here so I can put more of my tools. But yeah, I have one problem today is that the um, scrap metal yard closes at noon and it's about 7.30 right now. I've been up for a while, but it was too cold this morning to, to come out and work. So what I'm thinking of doing is clearing out my truck and loading the stuff that I don't have to take apart. That might be the way to go. All of these pumps, there's quite a few of them. This chain link fence, there is some wood attached to it. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get that off. I can bring this gas tank and this and the dog crate, which is all mashed up and all of this. And that'll be a pretty good chunk of everything back here. Maybe I'll start to do that right now. I have a quest. I have a couple quests today, actually. My first quest is to obviously get everything I can out of the backyard and in the scrapyard. My second quest will be get all of this stuff that needs tinkering with into the shed here. Start tinkering with it. And my third quest is to try and make 200 bucks today. I think we're going to make quite more than that. Um, but I just have a lot of tinkering to do until then. So let's see how it goes. These are my big ticket items. These effluent pumps or some pumps. And I got 17 of them. Oh, got all the pumps in. I have 17 or 18 of them. There were a couple that I actually tested and they worked. So I'm going to keep for now. In here we have a mix of aluminum and stainless steel. I am having a lot of technical difficulties with my GoPro lately. The audio sucks half the time. The batteries last like seven minutes and it just turns off every now and then or it just freezes. So it's kind of annoying. I feel like less of a monkey. I was able to clean up most of it. See all that in there. It was all interwoven into all of this. Not looking too bad. Not too bad of a dog crate, but it's all chewed up and bent and rusted. I'm to take it all in and see what I get. Fingers crossed. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. So in here, this I'm gonna keep because it works. Uh, can put stuff on there and do it. Was that a grinding stone? No idea. I think. Am I dumb for that? this stuff I don't know I don't know at all look at this this is actually decently heavy I want to take it apart just because I want to look at it otherwise I would have brought it this I'd bring but I kind of want it this I'd bring but I kind of want it 
this I'd bring, but I want to take it apart. These are the things that happen. Soon, this entire shed is going to be full of garbage. And I'm going to love it. Remember when I found this? It works. So I'm just going to keep it. Because if I'm still here in the summer and it gets hot, I got a fan. I am going to grab my tea, buckle up, and get out of here. But if we have time, we have another load to do. This, which probably doesn't look like it to you, but that is heavy. Those two together, very heavy. All of those. Um, I'll bring all this copper and then take these two bad boys apart. It's a decent little load there. Biggest load I've ever had. Not bad. We are going on our first big run. I got the back of the truck packed. In the past, I think I've gone four or five times and brought pumps to scrap. And four of the times they paid me 20, I think 21 cents or 23. And then one time they paid like 20. At this place, they are giving 35 cents for electronic motors. Now, these aren't technically electronic motors because for it to be classified as electronic motor, you'd have to take out the, you'd have to take off the, the casing and bring in the actual motor itself. Thankfully, the places I've gone to before gave me the electronic motor pricing for them. This place I called ahead of time and talked with one of the guys, he said, he can't give me electronic motor price, but he can give me a reduced price. So now I'm gonna get 30 cents per pound for these bad boys. All that talking, I forgot my wallet. Good thing I'm only five minutes away. By the way, let it be known that this type of work is not very easy. I mean, it's not hard to get the product. It's not that hard to process sometimes. Sometimes it's very hard to process, but it's a lot of heavy heavy lifting. It's a lot of work. I was sweating decently this morning. We are all done. I, I left and was like three or four minutes away from the place and I looked at my receipt and I'm like, all my tin's gone. There's no tin or sh tin shred. So I whipped whipped around and got my ticket for it so I got paid for it now so my first I looked at it and I'm like dang that's pretty good and then I looked at it a bit more and I'm like I pulled more weight than this so in total that was 1100 pounds of steel and aluminum but yeah mostly steel not bad I mean I'm gonna break it down uh, once I get home, all right? I will say I'm pleasantly surprised with the amount that I got, considering this was only probably half of what I have at my house. So because we lucked out and we did a good job and we made a decent amount of money, I get to have a chocolate. Oh, do I ever. What is this? This is a... God, Godiva, Godiva, Belgium, 1926 masterpiece. Milk and caramel, lion, baby, lion! Got it for free. I was only gonna have it if I came out with a good amount, and I did, so I'm gonna eat it. That's good stuff. Me saying I got it for free does not mean I got it in a dumpster. No, sir. That was not a dumpster chocolate. Not yet. Wash that down with a beautiful mint tea. Things are looking good today. Receipts. Cash. For the work today, I came home with a grand total of 200 and 89 dollars and 75 cents 
Cha-ching! In other words, money. Very good. I am pretty happy with that. Now, if we go over the receipt here, um, my big income here came from my elect electronic motors because I had 748 pounds of electronic motors and they paid me 30 cents per pound for these electronic motors. Um, yeah, so that was the big, the big ticket right there, $224.40. My tin shred was 300 pounds and they only pay 13 cents a pound. So I got $39 for that. Um, they actually screwed up here because they have st 304 stainless steel twice and it should have only been once and it should have only been for two pounds. But they put it in twice on accident and one of the times they did it was for 36 pounds and that was $19.44. That should have been shred at 13 cents a pound. So really, I should have got like $5 for that. Not even. Uh, I don't know, math, it's hard. And then painted aluminum, I had eight pounds and that was $5.84. Not bad at all, I do like aluminum. Aluminum was by far um, the most lucrative per pound. But next time we go, we got a lot of copper. So that one will be interesting. So again, I probably have at least definitely one more load. Um, maybe two more loads worth of scrap. Uh, my next load will be a decent amount because there's going to be a lot of copper. Uh, but then the third load is just going to be a bunch of scrap. So I'm not going to get paid too much. Um, just depends on how much processing I want to do. But that ends that whole conundrum. That's a lot of room in my backyard that's opened up now, so that's good. Um, yeah, I think that is a good day's worth of work. I worked from 8 to about noon. Most of that, well, all of that was just loading and unloading, and about an hour and 20 minutes of that was driving. So just under 300 bucks for four hours worth of work. That's not counting all the time it took me to pick things up, but not too bad at all. Thank you guys for tuning in on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and I hope you kind of like these kind of videos because I like doing it. One other thing, I didn't film while I was at the scrap place. Uh, I've never been there before, so it's kind of intimidating sometimes when you go and I didn't want to look like an idiot. Um, and yeah, that's why I kind of just passed through that and didn't show anything. Um, hope that's okay. I know it's a lot more fun when you get to see a little bit, but yeah. All in all, seemed pretty good. And shut my windows here. And soon we're gonna have this bad boy cleared out nicely and insulated, hopefully. And we're gonna do some good things, all right? Well, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.